Welcome back, Wolfpack Verlis here, and let's kick off this Fan Fridays with a battle about what Pokemon is all about. So let's read this message right here. I have a battle for you. I'm practicing VGC with a friend, and let me tell you, you have taught me to be my true self and use the Pokemon that I love. This power is, or this battle features the power of Yanmega and Octillery. Let's get in and see what this is about. And I mean, this is, this is my philosophy right here. That you don't always have to just confide to whatever is popular. You don't have to play the absolute meta. You can have fun with the game and still have success. So we're gonna see like how this ends up going through. So Yen Mega, Pokemon you don't see too often, and you don't see, he doesn't care about the Intimidate. So now we're going to see a lot of speed gain over that Ambipom, and that can get pretty serious. So Yen Mega is going to go off with that Detect, and there's gonna be a Protect onto Arcanine as well. So that's probably in anticipation of whatever Octillery is up to. So Fake Out going to go onto the Octillery, and then Scald, so pretty much just the protections worked against whoever was being focused. And there we go. So now Moody for Artillery Spec. Oh, no way. The special attack is going to go up. And that means that we are going to see a lot of damage coming from this Artillery. And now with the speed boost from Yanmega, we could see some pretty destructive blow up potential as well. Air Slash was headed for the Arcanine. That's going to be a switch into the Venusaur. So Venusaur immediately dropped right there and that means we also get to see what Octillery is going to do well after we see the double hit so double hit going to be solid damage on some of the Yanmega but it does have a good amount of base tankiness so it can get through pretty well and that's going to be Scald so will the plus two Scald onto the Frail Ambipom be enough? Yes it will so that is a quick turn right there for a lot of damage and just two KOs boom boom yet yeah, now Yanmega is going to be super fast so Nothing can stop this guy. What does Moody have? Special attack, raise again. Attack is going to drop. So the Moody, way too much damage. Arcanine was probably going to go down to the Scald anyways. Now it's it's fair game. So Air Slash, that can hit anything. Um, Scizor probably could get dropped by something. Like, I would just, you know, you Scald the Scizor, you Air Slash, and you just kind of see what happens. Or you use Detect. So just going to play it safe, you know, Yen Mega being focused. So the Extreme Speed actually headed for Artillery. And at least with the Detect, you are going to stop that Bullet Punch. That would most likely knock you out. So Artillery, never mind, I forgot. Artillery's got Flamethrower. I, I forgot about that. I, even though I made like a nice little point about it in my strategy guide. Yeah, he's got Flamethrower. He can, he can one-hit KO that scissor. So when you think about it, Scald, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Artillery, if it can endure that first hit, it's going to send back a KO with pretty good... Good chance. And again, if you get Speed Rays or something, you're just looking for those super effective hits to connect, and that could be devastating. So Yanmega is going to switch out. It doesn't want to eat the hit, uh, the extreme speed. Him on top comes in, and that's just going to be Scald on the Artillery anyway. So him on top, fairly tanky. Good. Da I was about to say good damage, but because of the critical hit, and then Scald, that is going to finish off the Arcanine just like that. And I mean that's a battle, and somehow. It's, it's just a strong combo. They use that detect, you get that speed boost, just kind of play that first turn, and I don't even think Octillery needed the special attack boost to still be effective. That's still a fairly tanky Pokemon depending on how you invest. You go like hit point special attack investment, and you just look for that coverage, and Octillery really pulled through. Now him on top does provide a lot of support, and the Diggersby, it's, it's not one of my favorite Pokemon, but it is something that, you know, could probably have a lot of effect with this team. So, good job. Just I want to see more battles. You only sent one. I want to I want to see more of this strategy. I want to see more of, like, how you've been developing this, and that's pretty awesome. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the Fan Friday's, this Fan Friday beginning, and I hope you guys get ready for some more battles.